Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today's video I'm going to be going over the new bandsaw I just picked up. Um, so this is the Rikon 14 inch deluxe bandsaw, uh, part number 10326. Now I've been in the market for a bandsaw for, I don't know, probably like five years now. Just haven't pulled the trigger. And the reason I went with the Rikon um, for multiple reasons is one, the five year warranty, two, the build quality on this. Now I've, I've looked at a whole bunch of uh, other bandsaws like display models and comparing that to this, this is superior build. All the, all the parts um, are, are beautifully done and good materials used here. So that's kind of why I went with this one. And there's a few other um, reasons. You can tell by my shop, it's pretty small. Um, for a 14 inch, this seems to be a lot slimmer than all the other ones I was looking at, but it still has the cut capacity um, as, as those bigger ones I did mention. So that's kind of the, the summary of this. I'm going to go more detail further in the video, but for now uh, I'm going to open this up and then we'll see how it looks and um, we'll, we'll assemble it. Now that we have this out of the box, um, actually after I struggled getting it out of the box, realized it was upside down when I first opened it, um, I am extremely happy with the quality of it. Uh, the powder coat and build quality of itself is, is beautiful. The next step here is to build the base, the lower base that's also storage. So I'm going to get going on that and then we'll lift this up, get all the other components on and we'll get it fired up and do some test rounds. Alright, now that we've got the bandsaw mounted to the base, um, we are ready to put all the accessories on, like the table, uh, assemble the fence, put all the knobs on the back, um, and then once that's done, we start kind of tuning this up um, and making sure it runs true, um, adjusting all the bearings and, and what have you. So um, that's going to be the next step here. Now that we have this bandsaw and I've had some time to actually use it, I'm going to go through all the features that this has. So first off, starting with the motor, it's a one and three quarter horsepower motor wired for 120 volt, but you can also rewire that to 240. Uh, that will just change your amperages, but I'm, right now I'm running it on 120 and I have no issues with that. There is a convenience plug located on the back, which when I originally bought this, I didn't realize it had. So that is a ne very nice feature. The bandsaw itself came with all the tools necessary to assemble it. Let's move to the fence. So it has a taller fence for resawing, but you can also flip it around so you have a lower profile fence. So if you're, you're kind of cutting smaller items and you need to bring your guide down, you're not limited to that big, tall resaw fence. Now, moving to the back, uh, this comes with a tool-free tensioner, and all the guide bearings and all that are also tool-free. So that's a really nice, nice feature as well. Um, there's two speeds for this bandsaw that I've realized. I think that's, that's pretty much it. So there's definitely a lot more to this, but those are just kind of the main points here. Um, one other thing that I did get, because my shop is so small, I got the wheels for the base 
just to move the uh, bandsaw around a, a bit. So that's the mobile base, and that ran me $110 Canadian. So that's the Rikon 14 inch bandsaw. Uh, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoy seeing these kind of reviews, so that's kind of why I put one together. And I've been looking for a bandsaw like this for a long, long time. And uh, I am extremely happy with it, so I would recommend this bandsaw. Now, I'm not uh, sponsored or anything by, by Rikon or, or any of that, but uh, when I see quality tools like this and they put the time and effort in, I, I really appreciate that. So that's kind of why I've kind of gone in detail um, and almost put a video together like I was sponsored by this. I just really appreciate the quality in this. I was looking at other band saws and the, the quality just isn't there, uh, especially nowadays. This is cheap, cheap stuff. But this is, this is a really nice saw, so that's why I've kind of put this video together for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave that below. Um, and yeah, until the next video, thanks for watching.